Let's just chat for a minute about rigging hardware. This might include uh, eye bolts, swivel hoist strings, shackles, turnbuckles, things that are independent connectors. So let's take a look at the good ones here. Uh, I've got a good shackle. I'll put this down so we can see the uh, uh, marking, embossing, uh, rate of capacity, manufacture, and size. And then uh, the pin is properly aligned. The ears are aligned. And uh, the pin finishes very flush out to the outside in, and the shoulder flushes up against the inside ear. You want to take a look at the um, shackles to make sure that the contour is good, and you get a uniform. Uh, no, these are drop four shackles that are forged in a in an upper and lower die, so they should be uniform, should be a square and flush. And we want to look onto the shackle in its length this way, and make sure that we have uh, no twisting or binding or yielding. Um, in any direction. So I'll show another shackle by comparison and take a look and we see uh, we've got significant damage there uh, with in effect side loading or yielding of that ear. Uh, the shoulder is, is not nearly to the ear uh, on the pin to ear contact but it's certainly coming out on the other side. So we have severe deformation of this shackle. Uh, people are surprised sometimes they're a lot more delicate than we might give them credit for. So take a hard look and make sure that we're using the right gear, right, uh, properly inspected. Uh, it's not a lot of metal loss on this, but we have structural damage. Okay. And the same kind of holds true for as we take a look at hoist rings and eye bolts and all those other types of materials. Notice this uh, hoist ring, swivel hoist ring, is able to rotate 360 and hinge 180. Uh, pins, stirrup pins are in good shape. I can see the uh, torque uh, bolt is good. The C-clip is there, E-clip is there. Good threads, no corrosion, no metal loss, uh, no other uh, visible damage, and uh, no chemical issues. Smooth skin, smooth scale. Everything looks pretty good there. This is an eye bolt. We'll put this down. This is uh, from overseas. Uh, from Germany, it's very good quality, uh, and uh, it's hand tight and then tool tight, and that's what that little tool is for to help get that last bit uh, locked down. Has a, a floating bolt in there that has limited movement, but we'd be looking for uniformity of the eye, uh, straight and true and uh, position, no twisting, no bending, no yielding, no deformation, threads are not uh, damaged or corroded, and we have uh, no metal loss, no heat damage, and other kinds of issues that cause, take away the strength of that piece of hardware. Markings are all good. Working load limit and manufacture, in this case, are marked on that unit. This eye bolt right here is a little suspect. We've got some corroded uh, threads, and we'd want to be taking a look, take this over to the shop, knock a few of the little bit of that corrosion down, see if we can get down to clean skin and what those threads look like after they get uh, dressed up just a little bit. Uh, we want to be very cautious that if we have thread damage, um, we can certainly lose that eye bolt, the integrity to hold that load and to do what it's got to do. So if it's surface, maybe, but uh, you want to be very cautious about how deep corrosion really attacks steel and the effects of it. So we'd want to really get this cleaned up and cleaned down and get a qualified person to make the decision if we could keep this, uh, keep this guy in service. Otherwise, it doesn't look too bad with being straight on, no twisting, no bending, no yielding, and the eye doesn't have any significant metal loss. And the markings there with the manufacturer and uh, in a code value that we can go get the rate of capacity as necessary. Most eye bolts that we'd like to have in the field, we sure like to have the rate of capacity on them so we don't have to go to a website or chase that information down in a spec book. The rigging hardware, what we're really looking for all the time is good threads, straight alignment, um, no yielding or deformation, no twisting, and proper marking, and uh, no heat damage, and uh, metal loss, you know, to uh, less than 10% in any direction. So, but uh, hardware is not too hard uh, to uh, evaluate. Um, but don't just 
brush off uh, that it's super strong and can't get hurt. I've, I've, for whatever reason, pulled lots more shackles out of service in my lifetime than I ever thought I would. But they really are, because of the loading we uh, impose to them, they can really take a beating and start moving uh, at the, kind of the wrong time. But fortunately, we don't see them blow up much and drop loads, but they certainly can yield and deform. So be very uh, uh, strict on yourself and with your uh, equipment to take a hard look and make sure that the gear is in good shape. All right? Thanks. Thank <music> you.